Well, I'm back again. Thought I'd do another video of something I um, figured out a while back on these uh, display case locks. Now, uh, this one here, I don't think is the one I did it with. But, is the one like this? It's a wafer lock. You know, it works like that. So, I'll do this this particular one um i try i was going to try doing it on camera i tried doing it and it took me tw it took me 20 minutes to figure out that this is not one of the kind but there, there are some that do that will do this if you pick it in reverse um it'll turn like like a maybe a like an eighth to a quarter of a turn if you pick it in reverse and you can pull the whole thing out you can pull this pull the plug out of this but uh like i said i tried it, it takes a while it took me a while i did it one day when i was working on one um to pick open for someone and uh i picked it the wrong way and i my picked it it turned and when i pulled out the tension wrench the the, the plug came out so, and I've been trying to find one that, uh, that does that, that, uh, does that, does that again. This is not one, apparently, because, uh, I actually have two of these. This one and, uh, another one. A little bit different. Put this back up. A little different. I don't think I have a key for it. I don't believe I have a key for this one. This is a little different. Looks the same, but it's a little different. So it's made in Italy on there. This one has a, the thumb turn with the glass protector on the screw to hold that piece in. That one didn't. That one just like clips on to the glass. But, um, if you take, but like I said, if you ever come across these, try picking it in reverse. A little, it'll turn, like I said, it'll turn a little bit. And when it turned a little bit, take and pull, pull, put a lot of tension on your, on the tension wrench, or tension tool, or we're going to call it. One of these down here. And you put it in there, and you bear down on it a little more than you would you just and just pull it out you know try to pull it out the cor pull out the plug i don't usually uh i won't usually uh give out tips like that but uh, i thought that was an interesting i thought that would be an interesting to, to uh share that's uh one way i uh I uh, make a key f with file and for as I take the on the wafer locks. I take the if I can get these plugs out of them. I can put I put a key in there and then I'll just file each one down until they all line up the right way. But uh, I'm planning on changing that kind of thing because uh, most of the locks that I I. Uh, I've worked with take the Y11, so I've got some. Ordered myself, I'm gonna order myself a couple sets of uh, Y11 depth keys. One to carry with me, one to keep up in the shop here for when I need to uh, work on this kind of a lock that takes the Y11 blank. I can just stick the each depth key in there and. Uh, write down the number and then bring bring the numbers home and use the machine and cut a key and test it out if I can bring the lock home if not I'll take it I have to take it up wherever I go where I'm, wherever I'm at but uh I thought I would um share that because you know you can't you have to grind this down to get this plate off and get to the back and all that on some of them but 
on these on this one, on this one and uh, cam locks well the cam lock comes out anyway but um, then display case locks such as this it's some of them it seems to work thank you for watching